Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Um, I hope that you will stick around and subscribe. Today I'm going to be going through some empties that I've used up recently. I really enjoy watching these types of videos because I feel like people can give a thorough review once they have went through a whole entire product. So I think I'm going to start with like the shower type of stuff. I do have some makeup products here too. Um, so I'm just going to start with like the stuff that's not as fun. So this is um, from Cora's. This is one of their shower gels. This is the guava one. I I know that this is a clean brand, but I'm not that fond of this shower gel. It's okay. I like something that's a little bit more sudsy, something that's a little bit more moisturizing. I felt like this had minimal suds and it really just did not feel moisturized. It's nothing like their lotion. Their lotion is fantastic, but yeah, just not that much of a fan of the shower gel. I also have here the Hemp's. This is the Daily Herbal Moisturizing Shampoo. This is the pomegranate one. And this thing took me forever to use. It was good. Um, it definitely cleansed my hair. I do feel like it made my hair pretty like tangly and knotty though. So I probably wouldn't purchase this one again. There's one that's like a hair mask type situation, like super moisturizing. I would probably try that one. Um, but yeah, not that big of a fan of this one either, unfortunately. Um, while we're in the fails, let me go ahead and mention this. This is a foaming hand soap from Ulta. This is the Pineapple Passion. I would say stick to Bath and Body Works, guys. This, I felt like it did not get my hands that clean. Um, I kept it in the kitchen and I would like wash my hands two or three times whenever I was cooking just because I didn't feel like one wash was getting the job done. So, also in the, this isn't really a fail, but this definitely isn't like a big win either. This is the Better Not Younger Hair Redemption Restorative Mask. Um, smells fantastic. It smells like a really like high-end perfume. I love the way it smells. Um, and I mean, it worked fine. This worked fine. Um, I it definitely was not a fail, but it wasn't like blowing my mind either. Um, so yeah, this Pravana, this is like a little deluxe sample. This is the fresh dry shampoo. I had to use a ton of this stuff. It really just did not soak up the oils like I'm used to. Like the dry bar one is fantastic. That is probably like my favorite one. Um, even the Batiste, that one works really well as far as absorbing the oils. This one just was not cutting it for me at all. Had to use a ton of it. Something that I do love and will continue to purchase is the Old Spice. This is the Fiji deodorant. My husband picks up me all the time because I use men's deodorant. This smells so good. It smells um, kind of like Dolce & Gabbana light blue. That's the kind of vibes that it gives me. If you're familiar with that fragrance, it's kind of like a very citrusy, fresh fragrance. Um, but I have already purchased a new one of these. I'm already using a new one. I will continue to purchase that one because I have not found anything better. Now, I have got two toothpaste. This one I got from that Grove um, subscription. This is the Hello Activated Charcoal with fresh mint and coconut oil. Um, I think that this is very hard to get out of the tube, which is pretty annoying and it doesn't give me like super fresh breath. So not really a fan. I didn't really notice any like whitening aspects of it. This Crest 3D White is one that I will continue to use. I've used many of these in the past. I have one in my um, bathroom right now. Now I went through several, several, um, lotions. So I've got two from Shiseido. One is the Essential Inner Energy Moisturizing Cream. This is kind of like a thicker one. And then I've got the Moisturizing Gel Cream. The gel 
is superior. And it's all just like preference. Um, even though that moisturizing cream one from Shiseido was also pretty good. I got the Amore Pacific. This is the Eye Reserve Cream. This was a funky texture because um, you can see it was just a little pop, but it wasn't like a soft cream where you just dot it. It was kind of more like a balm where you like had to like rub your finger around in it and then just kind of like gloss it over. So, but it was nice. I will say that it's not a formula that I'm that familiar with. It was definitely unique. Um, this is super pricey, super pricey. So other than that sample, like I wouldn't go out and purchase it, um, but it was good. Then I've got the Clinique Moisture Surge. I love this stuff. I have purchased it before. I actually am using another one of these like deluxe samples in my bathroom right now. It's what I've been using every day. I have purchased multiple of these in the past. I love a gel moisturizer. It just sinks into your skin so good. It's cooling. It's refreshing. It wakes you up in the morning. I love it. Now, oh, I've got one more, actually two more things that are not makeup related. This is um, a brand that I have really been loving. It's Juliet Has a Gun, um, and this is Pear Ink. I also have one that's like vanilla, and then I have one that's called Not a Perfume. I love all of them. They're all so good. Um, and then this is from New Skin. I've mentioned this before in my empties, and not in my empties and my favorites. This is so good. It is a tanner. It is from New Skin, so you have to like know somebody that sells New Skin to purchase it. My cousin actually sells this stuff. She's the one that got me hooked on it. I will link her store below. I have used this stuff for probably two years now. Um, I also have like the ones with the mitt, you know, that you apply that way. Um, I think the one I have is like Tropic something um but anyway this is so much better it's not a darker tan but it is like it's just you don't have to think about it you don't need anything you just put it on your skin when you get out of the shower it develops over time so like over two or three hours it gets darker as you wear it and it is just it is phenomenal I love this stuff I always have two of these on backup. I have one that I'm using. I have two on backup. Anytime I open one of these, I always hit her up. And I'm like, hey, I need another one because stuff is bomb. Okay, now we are on to the makeup stuff. I'm going to show you something that I didn't actually use up, but that I am getting rid of just because it is not good anymore. This is the Revlon lip gloss. This is in the shade 207 which is sky pink. It's just the formula has changed. It leaks, I feel like. Um, I have got stains from my swatch stuff the other day. It won't come off. But it is just like a super nice, like dull pink gloss. Gorgeous over lipsticks as well. That's mainly how I used to use this. Um, but yeah, it's just not good anymore. I may purchase another one. I've got so many lip products though. I don't need to. So I may try to refrain from that, but it is tempting for me to repurchase that. Next, I have got just a little tiny MAC Fix Plus. Love this stuff. I have multiple big ones. I like it for um, wetting my eyeshadow brush to put down eyeshadows. I love it for setting down the powders of my face. It is just phenomenal for melting everything together. Next, I've got another MAC product. This is my Pro Longwear Concealer. I used this forever. It's such a good product. I probably could like open this up and possibly scrape this out, but I just, I could not get this thing to unscrew. Like I tried. I really, really tried. So I'm just calling it quits with this. I got my use out of it. I really, really enjoy it. Now, I used two foundations up. I am in the shade Yukon, which is a light shade. It's actually 2.5, but the shade itself is called Yukon in both of these. Um, this is the Soft Matte, and then this is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. 
both really good foundations. This one is more like medium to be buildable to full. This one is full. Um, I think this one retails for $40 and it is 1.5 ounces. And I believe this retails for like 50 maybe. And it is only one fluid ounce. So this is like a plastic packaging. This is a glass packaging. Um, I prefer the plastic and the squeezy tube it sits down I feel like you get all of the product out of there um but yeah I much prefer this one they're both good though but that is all of my empties I hope that you guys enjoyed it um let me know if you tried any of these things or you know what you've been loving and I'll catch you guys next time bye